somebody who, if you ask, should you go on a trip, I will always tell you yes. If you're looking for someone to say, well, no, it's not responsible, have your photo on the age, just stay, you have your medical, please don't ask me if you should go, because I will tell you to go every time. So I decided to stay for two years and take a year off. I have two humanitarian companies. One is called Threading Hope, one is called Highwire. I usually do that work in developing countries, and with this trip being around the U.S., the way that I blended those together was to write a Young Readers edition about those journeys for students in the U.S. So the perfect bike for an adventure. You plan your adventure, you decide you're going. Whatever bike you pick is the perfect bike for your adventure, as long as you go. I don't care if it's a 250, if it's a CT110, if it's a 1000cc BMW, whatever you pick is the perfect bike. Yeah. This is Sandy Borden. Terry and Sandy and their 13 year old son, well, 14 now, I think, Jack, are traveling South America. They're on two BMWs for 18 months traveling the world. They are road schooling their son. So it's interesting because Sandy gets from a lot of people, how can you be doing this? Aren't you scared? And she says, well, I know this girl is doing it alone. The reason I use a long rider ton, I also have a garage for my bike in there. I have used that many times in bad weather. You can pack up all of your kit on your bike in your tent in bad weather. It stays dry in your dry bags, and the only thing that stays wet is your tent because it's the last to be packed. So it's pretty awesome. So when I decided to plan this trip and go on it, a lot of people said, well, how do you make that decision? How do you go ahead and plan? At the end of the day, most of my decisions I make by asking myself, well, I regret it. Will I regret taking this trip? No. Will I regret not leaving and going? Yeah, definitely. I knew that I would. I only had to ask myself once. The answer was very clear from the minute I made the decision. The world is an open door to adventure. The only person, the only person, stopping you from doing it is you. If you have a dream and you want to go somewhere, just go. I've tried to really work on how I answer that question. And I can't, I can't do it any different than just say to go do it. Go live your dream. Do what you want to do. I got gear from Revit, Giant Loop Bags, British Customs. Lone Rider is my tent from France. Pretty cool company. So the owners of Lone Rider, when I need parts, I have to contact him in South America right now. Because they're traveling the world for three and a half years on your rolls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. And I did just receive tire sponsorship last month which I can't be more thankful for that because I am burning through them like crazy. <laughs> so I now ride on new ones. There will be a motorcycle adventure book when I finish this trip, and probably a year after I finish it, it'll take me a year to write it, and then a year for publication. Yes? Can we see the video again? That, that's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I think the biggest thing you can give to a new generation or children, period, it's just that inspiration for them to know that whatever they want to try, they can. Okay. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming out. Really but, uh, but...